In this video, you will see two very interesting thing wherein I am going to teach you how can Excel add a formula for you instead of you typing a formula. So we will take two very practical example and step by step I will show you that. Let's start with the first example. So for example, if you wanted to know that how much percentage of people are there in each department. So you have a small data, you have department and you have number of people in it. And here your management wants to know that is how much is the percentage of people in each department. So what you do, we normally use a formula over here, but now there is no need of using a formula. Here is the interesting way. The first step is you will select all these numbers and from the keyboard you can press Ctrl Q. If you don't want it to use Ctrl Q as a shortcut, then when you select this, here you get an option that is your quick analysis. So you will click on quick analysis and here you will get different options. Here you have to go to this third option which is the total and in total you will get some average count but this all five starting five wherein you can see a blue color in the end of the row. This is used when you have a data horizontally arranged. Here I will click on this arrow which is over here as my data is vertically arranged. So here you will come and you will click on this option that is percentage of total. As soon as you click on it, you can see the above. Even I have not clicked, I have just brought the cursor on it and automatically he has calculated the percentage for me. And the most interesting part is it has not only calculated, but he has added a formula for you, which you would have typed manually. So he has calculated that is B2 divided by the total, which is a normal formula for doing the percentage. So here, this was a very interesting thing that without you typing a formula, Excel has added for you. I will show you one more example, but I will show you of the horizontal. Let's say for example, you have arranged a data like this. Normally friends, if you see practically, mostly you will see data arranged like this so that sorting, filtering can be done easily. But let's take an example if you have made data something like this. And over here you wanted to calculate the percentage. So how you will calculate? Very simple. You will select all these numbers over here and over here again you will click on it or from the keyboard what you will press? You will press Ctrl Q and you will get this quick analysis. So I will click on this total over here. Now you don't have to go here inside. You will come on this and you click on percentage of total. Here you will see this is for the horizontal and I click on it and automatically your percentage of total has been inserted. Is not it very simple? One more example I will show you and then I will show you another important thing that is how do you add a running total which we will see on a sheet number two. So one more time I will show you how do we do that. The first step is I have a sales data for each of the city and I wanted to know contribution sales of each city towards the total sales. Very simple, no need of putting a formula. Just select it and press Ctrl Q and you will get the quick analysis. Go to the tools over here and just click on this arrow which is inside and here you will click on percentage of total and you click and you get the total. Wow, this is very, very simple. Now let's take the another example. This is more interesting thing. So I'm going to the next sheet that is the running total. And over here I have some dates and I have sales for each date and I wanted to know the running total. What do you mean by running total? First May and second May when you add it becomes a running total. Then when you say first, second and third gen addition again it becomes a running total. So how do we do that? We used to add a formula over here 
but here excel will add a formula for you how let's check it so i will come on my first cell and i will select the data till end and what you will press yes you will press control q or you will click on it and over here this is vertically arranged remember so here you will go to the tools sorry in totals and in totals here is the running total but if you will see when i click on running total it's coming in the end but i want in c column so this is vertically arranged so you will click on this arrow and here you get the last option running total wow just click on it and your work is done let's cross check friends so this is 6569 correct now how this came 15756 so this is a addition of this first and second main you will see when i select this both i can see the total is 15765756 so this is the total when i select all this thing the total comes to 20899 in the same way if you wanted to do if you have a data vertically arranged so you can do this way friends so you will select this all you will click on this quick analysis you will go to the tools and over here you will click on running total now you will not go inside because this is row level so you have a horizontal y so you will click on it and you will see it has been added for you if you wanted to see the formula here is the formula so this is something very interesting that excel will add a formula for you instead of you spending a time on it so this was two very very interesting thing one is how do you calculate the contribution and how do you add the running total i hope you like this quick analysis tool make sure you see my other video for more interesting topic till the time make sure you open this file practices once twice become expert in excel and see you in the next video thank you so much